everyone! Miss Caitlin here, and welcome to Creative Clubhouse Stories. Today I'm wearing a black sweater with black and pink earrings that have flowers on them. I have brown hair that is up in a ponytail, and I'm against a green background. I'm so excited to play today! We are already halfway through Women's History Month. That means we have two more weeks of stories learning about awesome women in history. Today, we're learning about Wilma Pearl Mankiller. Before we read, let's warm up our hearts, bodies, and minds. First, let's warm up our hearts. Can you show me your heart? And give it a nice rub. How are you feeling today? Show me with your bodies. Ready? One, two, three, show me. Ooh. Nice. I'm feeling kind of happy today kind of excited today. Nice. And how are you feeling? Well, no matter what you're feeling, let's breathe through it together. Do you remember how we breathe? That's right, our butterfly breath. Let's put our hands out and wiggle those fingers. Put those hands together, take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold it, lift those arms up, open and breathe out. Let's do that two more times. Here we go, arms out, wiggle those fingers, hands together, breathe in, hold it open, breathe out. And one more time, arms out, wiggle those fingers, hands together, breathe in, hold it open and breathe out. Very nice, and give a little shake. All right, next, it's time to warm up our bodies. Do you remember how we warm up our awesome bodies together? What do we do first? That's right. We lift our arms way up in the sky. And do you remember what we say? That's right. We say, I am so powerful. And then we reach down, 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 down to the ground. And we say, I am so smart. And then we come up and what do we do? That's right. We wiggle, 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 wiggle. And we say, I am so creative. <laughs> Very nice. And then we make a big starfish pose with our body and say, that's right. I can do big things. Oh, I feel so good. Well, time to celebrate someone else in your space too. This time we point while we stretch. Here we go. Reach up, 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 up and point. You are so powerful. Nice. And then reach down, 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 and point. You are so smart. And then come up, 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 and wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. You are so creative. And big starfish point. You can do big things. Nice. And wiggle, 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 shake it off. Very nice. It's time to read. Let's learn about Wilma Pearl Mankiller. W is for Wilma, a chief of the Cherokee Nation. When Wilma Pearl Mankiller was young, her family lived off the land by fishing, hunting, and gathering. When she was 10, a government agency convinced her parents to leave their home in Oklahoma and move to San Francisco to work and live like white men. In San Francisco, Wilma's classmates laughed at her name and made fun of the way she dressed. Wilma missed her home, but she settled into life in San Francisco, becoming active in the Native American community. Still longing for her Cherokee home, Wilma returned to Oklahoma at the age of 32. She worked for the Cherokee Nation, the tribal government of the Cherokee tribe. Wilma ran for chief of the Cherokee Nation and won. In her two terms as chief, Wilma strengthened the financial foundation of the nation, supporting medical clinics, daycare centers, and environmental cleanup. A quote from Wilma Mankiller. I encourage young women to aspire to leadership. We are missing a lot of great solutions to society's problems because we do not hear women's voice in every sector of society. Wilma Pearl Mankiller was the first female principal chief of the Cherokee Nation. She knew how important it was to have women's voices heard and their ideas listened to. 
What ideas do you have? If you were a principal chief or president or any other type of leader, what ideas would you make happen? How would you lead? In our book, we saw a picture of Chief Mankiller delivering a speech about the ideas that she thinks are important. Have a grown-up help you write down your ideas and turn them into a speech. Then, imagine you're sharing your ideas with a big group of people in your community. Put on your best leader outfit and act out your speech for the folks around you. There may not be a big crowd yet, but your stuffed animals, your pets, or your siblings are a great audience to start with. If you'd like to record your ideas, you can share them with NYCCT on Instagram at NYC Children's Theater. I can't wait to hear what you come up with. I'll be back next week with our final video. Until then, keep playing and I'll see you soon.